A local writing candidate is running for state senate during next week's election and has a proposal that will aim to aid the Kentucky State Crime Lab. Tanner Hesterberg is proposing Amber's Law, which will raise court costs for certain criminal defendants to add funding to the crime lab and ultimately cut down investigation times to lead to quicker arrests. Mountaintop News spoke with Hesterberg to hear more about it. One of the first things I did once I completed my filing paperwork is I sought a meeting with Amber Spradlin's family. And I went and I sat down with them. I had a very productive conversation. I was not seeking an endorsement. All I was seeking to do was get their input, hear what they had to say about this idea I had to not only honor her legacy, but to make sure that other families who are in similar situations don't have to experience the pain and heartache and the excruciating weight that they've had to go through uh, throughout this process. So Amber's family gave me permission to run on this issue. I told them I wanted to make it the central issue of my campaign and I'll tell you right now exactly what I told them. If I'm elected, passing Amber's law will be my top legislative priority. It's the season of saving and upgrading with Appalachian Wireless. Get an iPhone 15 128 gig on us, on us, with a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage unlimited plan. It's the season of saving because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hesterberg, along with many East Kentucky residents, believes what happened to Amber shouldn't happen to anyone or their family. Even if he is not elected this term, his goal is to continue to push for Amber's law. When a case drags on like Amber Spradlin's case did, it's not good for anybody. It's obviously not good for the family members of the victims. It's not good for the prosecutors. It's not good for the defendants. It's not good for the judges and courtroom staff, and it's not good for the community. So this is an opportunity for us, even though we've already had this delay in Amber's case, we can pass a law that keeps her name out there forever and ensures that other families who, God forbid, are ever in a similar circumstance where they lose a loved one like this, that they don't have to experience the same excruciating delays that Amber's family and friends have had to go through during this time. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.